endure such violent weather. Call it pointless. I'll continue to carry out grace nonetheless. I will scream it till my face is blue. There is a point to all of this. And it's always been you.
have ever been told. And as I stand on this cliff, the wind whips through me and I am made bold. Once again, your presence creeps into my consciousness. Grace made tangible in this newly anointed place. And I have brought to my clear senses that none of my perceived failings or disgrace has ever touched my being or inheritance. I am whole. I am clean. I am free. And I have brought to my knees, sink in, permeate this weary flesh. Breathe. Life is clean and fresh as the salt season breeze. Please, Father, pull me to my feet. Why are you nailing my son? I put strength in that backbone, knowing you would fall. But I promise you will never taste defeat. You are whole. You are clean. You are free. Do not rise from your knees. We can no longer linger in the shadows of our shame and brokenness. For as sure as the wind blows, he has already redeemed all of this. Live as whole. Live as clay. Live as free. Everything you were made to be. Standing at the edge of self-discovery Tired and weary Our body trembles, buckles We are afraid of being hurt again Been stabbed in the back by our own friends We don't know if we can mend Minds riddled with unsuccessful recoveries We're scared Lord, we're terrified But dive in we must Cause there has to be something better than this but we see testimony of you in the sea, your creation, all of nature. So with the sudden rush, we abandon our solitary perching place. And as we wash away the morning dust, immerse, we see your face. Beautiful things I had gained But I 
ever change, ever die. There is underlying all that change, a living power that is changed, that holds all together, that creates, dissolves, and recreates. That informing power of spirit is God, and since nothing else that I see merely senses can or will persist, He alone is. And is this power benevolent or benevolent? I see it as purely benevolent, for I can see that in the midst of death, life persists. In the midst of untruth, truth persists. In the midst of darkness, light persists. Hence I gather that God is life, truth, light. He is love. He is the supreme good. But he is no God who merely satisfies the intellect if he ever does. God, to be God, must rule the heart and transform it. He must express himself in every smallest act of his votary. It is proved not by extra extraneous evidence, but in the transformed conduct and character of those who have felt the real presence of God within. To reject this evidence is to deny oneself. This realization is preceded by an immovable faith. He who would in his own person test the fact of God's presence can do so by a living faith. And since faith itself cannot be proved by extraneous evidence, the safest course is to believe in the law of truth and love. Exercise of faith will be the safest where there is a clear determination summarily to reject all that is contrary to truth and love. I confess that I have no argument to convince through reason. Faith transcends reason. All as I can advise is not to attempt the impossible.
This is our release, our violent 
mankind We are your family is standing by your side
Why would you give me eyes to see and then deny me these? Eternity is a lock found inside our hearts. You can and humanity the key. So I won't be swayed by fantasies of unquenchable flames or some place of torment. It's all the same, a father doesn't sit idly by while his children are maimed. I've seen true grace. I promise you we will never feel the lack of those flames. Where death is your glory, where death is your sting. For we are all children of the king, every last one an eternal being. So I'll reject your fear and hatred, for I bring good news that will be for all nations. I've seen wholeness in the broken. I've seen health in the sick. Why do we stifle the words you've spoken? If it kills me, I'll tear these walls down brick by brick! I've seen hospitality in the homeless. I've seen light in the darkness. And I've seen hope in the damned. So if all that has meant the most to me isn't present after my last breath, count me with the fallen sheep. Send me to the depths.